is Lime Stark, and in this video we are looking at the discriminant. So I put the quadratic formula up here because the discriminant comes from the quadratic formula. And it's the bit underneath the root b squared minus 4ac. And the discriminant can help us determine how many roots there are in a quadratic equation. And the roots, when you look at graphs, is the times it touches the x-axis. So in a quadratic curve, the most there can be is two roots, there can be one root if it only touches it at once, or there can be zero roots. So how do you determine this using the discriminant? So as you can see, the discriminant is b squared minus 4ac, and when the discriminant is more than zero, it means that you've got two roots. And I'll show you some examples of this later on. Now, when it's um, equal to zero, that means that you only have got one root, and when it's less than zero, that means that you have zero roots. So here we have three examples of how we can use a discriminant to determine how many roots there are. And the first one here is x squared plus 4x plus 5 is equal to zero. So if we take b squared, that's going to be 4 squared, and then we're going to do minus the 4ac, so minus 4 times by 1, which we'll put in for the sake of it, times by 5. And then we're going to equal that, so that's going to be 16 minus 4 times 1 times 5 is equal to 20. That's equal to minus 4. And therefore, because that is less than 0, this means that this, there are no roots. So the next one here, again we're going to put that into the b squared minus 4ac. So this time we're going to do 3 squared minus 4 times a is 1, b is times 11. So that's going to be 9 minus and then minus 4 times 1 times minus 11 is going to be minus minus 44. Obviously, two negatives make a positive. So 9 minus minus 44 is going to be 9 plus 44, which is equal to 53. That means there are going to be two distinct roots. So this one has two roots. So the final one has a, a coefficient larger than 1 on the x squared. So this means that when we do b squared minus 4ac, it's not just going to be 1. So b squared is going to be 2 squared minus 4 times by 3, and then this time the c is going to be 1. So that means it's going to be 4 minus 12, which is equal to minus 8. And therefore, like the first one, this one has no roots. So I hope you found this video useful to determine how many roots there are in a quadratic equation and uh, this is how you find out and it's normally used in larger questions at A level. You won't get one just saying how many roots there are, it's how you can find out that something is less than something. So thank you and see you soon. Bye.